Hello friends, welcome to Social with Neha. Today we are going to discuss about a sixth standard social studies. Theme one: Diversity on the Earth. Lesson number one: Reading and making of maps. Children, I think that you might have understood about what we are going to learn. Yes, we are going to learn about maps, how we are making the maps, and how we will read the map, and so on. So before going to the topic, we shall discuss about the definition of a map. A map is a pictorial representation of a place on a flat surface. Means we are going to represent a place or a country or something on a piece of paper that is also in a flat surface. And you know that the shape of the earth is like a ball sphere. So you can see on the screen this is a globe. So we are representing that circular form on a flat surface in the form of a map. I think it's clear. Now coming to the information. So maps gives us several type of information. Ma means we are going to get different types of the information like boundaries, and even we are going to get the information of rivers, lakes, mountains, population, climate, weather, and so on. So this all kind of the information we are going to get in the form of a map. Now we shall come to the point of how many types of maps are there. See, children, there are different types of the maps you can see on the screen: political map, physical map, and thematic map. We shall learn about individual map in detail. First, we will discuss about political map. Here, a political map is a map which shows. Only the boundaries means we will come to know about the states, capitals, union territories, boundaries means boundary line means we are going to know about individual places on a political map. You can observe the map which is giving us a clear boundaries. Ah, uh, where is Andhra Pradesh? Where is Telangana? Where is the union territory and so on. So what we will learn, children? We will learn the boundaries of all the states, capitals, union territories, and so on this is called as a political map once again what is a political map a map which gives us the information about the boundaries of the places is called as a political map next we shall learn about physical map a physical map is a map which gives us the information about the physical features of india here the physical features are nothing but mountains rivers lakes and different types of the landforms so here in the map we can see very clearly that a different colors are used a blue color indicates the water brown color indicates the mountains and green color indicates the forest and so on so this is the physical map so what we learn from the physical map children we learn about all the different types of the physical features okay mountains river system plains plateaus and so on next we will discuss about a new map that is thematic map thematic map is also called by the other name special purpose map means we are going to get a special information means only one type of information will get in this map okay theme theme is nothing but what nana a single information means we are going to get only the information related to one topic that is called as a thematic map we can see the examples here children you can see the examples of a thematic map climate map weather map population road map means these are the maps which gives only the information to that particular topic now we shall move to the first thematic map that is climate map weather or a climate map which gives us the information about the temperature rainfall and the direction of the wind and what is the climatic condition we are going to get only this type of information in a weather or a climate map so this is related to the climate that is why we call it as a thematic map next thematic map we will discuss about population so population map is the map which is giving us the information only regarding the population you can see on the screen that this is the world population density map density means what how many people are living for 1 square kilometers only this kind of the information you can get in this map other than that no information will be available so that is why we are calling it as a thematic map 
नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रोड मैप here road map gives us the information about the connectivity of the different roads in the sense cities towns villages of one place to the another place in this map it is indicated by a red color major highways and the minor highways are indicated by the lighter color means we are going to get the information related to the roads national highway or not children next we will discuss the second topic of parts of a map here when you observe the screen you are going to see the different types of a symbols these symbols are used in the map to make us more convenient because all the words we can't represent on a map hence to make it as very easy we use uh, different features by different symbols so what is the symbol uh, so symbol is a different feature of at the surface like roads railways villages towns rivers post office dams etc are shown in the map by using the symbols instead of writing the names we represent those places in the sense of symbol to make the map clean not clumsy that is the importance of the symbol and uh, these symbols are also called as the conventional symbols next we will discuss about scale scale is nothing but a drawing map on a paper by reducing original distance is called as a scale see children when you talk about india india is a large country but we are representing it on a small piece of paper how it is possible yes it is possible because of the scale means suppose 10 cm is equal to 1 cm means we are reducing and representing on a piece of paper that is called as a scale topic related to the scale you have to know about sketch what is a sketch sketch is also drawing by reducing the size but it is a rough drawing which does not show any details means many only we can represent the figure but we will not represent any type of the information related to that picture is called as a sketch is nothing but what ma it is a rough drawing without many details children you can see a example of sketch map this is a map which is drawn by laila so when laila visited malika's village they walked on a bridge which consists of the six lamp each lamp is having 100 meters of distance so here complete the total distance of the bridge is 500 meters so after returning laila wanted to draw the sketch map of the bridge so for that purpose she took 1 cm as the distance from one lamp to the another lamp means like that she completed the sketch of a map much smaller than the actual one within the 5 cm so this is the sketch map means we are representing very rough means what very smaller than the actual image next we will discuss about directions see directions are most important for map making see we know that there are the four directions which we call as a cardinal like north south east and west same manner we are having ordinal directions like a north east north west south west and south students observe the map very carefully what you are observing here n alphabet is showing at the top so each and every map will have a arrow mark which pointing towards the top by n symbol it is nothing but it is giving us the hint that the top of the map is indicating north and bottom of the map is indicating south left side of the map is indicating west and the right side of the map is indicating east so this is the map directions children map directions are different from the general directions okay general directions means in the sense sun rises in the east and sun sets in the west so these are the general directions we will discuss about the general directions again students now we will discuss about the general direction see there is a universal fact means nobody can change it what sun rises in the east and sun sets in the west now it is very clear that two right two directions means what east and the west means how you will understand whenever or towards the which side the sun rises we call it as a east and where the sun sets we call it as a west 
ओके फाइन नाउ हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द नॉर्थ एंड साउथ चिल्ड्रेन देन बिकॉज हियर वी आर हैविंग एन एक्टिविटी चिल्ड्रेन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन वेन यू स्टैंड फेसिंग द सन मीन्स योर फेस should be towards the sun rises ante east then what happens uh, when you are standing facing the sun means that is east uh, your right hand side becomes the south uh, and left hand side becomes the north this is the general direction once again children when you are facing towards the sun rises east then your right hand side becomes the south and left hand side becomes as the north now it is very clear where sun rises in the east sun sets in the west when we face towards the sun our right hand side becomes the south and left hand side becomes the north this is a way to identify the directions of a place children we will see one example which is given in your textbook so what you are observing on a screen a girl is standing in the middle facing towards the sun and uh, they are asking us to fill the table which direction which object is placed so we'll come to the first uh, south so how to identify the south uh, when girl is facing towards the sun her right hand side becomes the south so what object is placed on the south it is well Okay so what is the object which is towards the south of the girl it is a well and next north what is a formula to apply here nana that when a girl is standing towards the sun her left hand side becomes as a north and uh, coming to the west the opposite direction to the east we call it as a west so here towards the west uh, there is a house so this is the logic to remember the directions these are called as a general directions once again general directions are different from the map directions okay map directions always top of the map indicates north okay children children we will see the next example about the directions here a group of friends who are standing in the different directions and here on the screen you can see the number of questions and the answer try to solve yourself students i think that information regarding the map is very clear to you all based on that information we shall solve another example about the directions of a map and sketch of a map see in this example a two friends like malika and laila they both met uh, at red cross in nizamabad but they both belong to the different places like Mallika belongs to Venkatapuram Laila belongs to Adilabad so in holidays Laila planned to visit Mallika's house as it is new place Mallika gave her the sketch map by telling the directions so here on the screen you can see that it is very clear how Mallika is guiding the Laila see she told that to move the three two corners and take right move to the left so in this manner she represented her village on a piece of paper this is called as the sketch map showing the way to mallika's house okay children now i would like to give you a homework like draw a sketch map to your house from the bus stand okay i hope that it is very clear to you all please do like my videos share comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel social with sneha thank you one and all